All of this is on purpose so that we don't make an association necessarily of somebody first entering the room, right? It's easy to make an association. I mean, if you think about it, most dogs want to bite you, even typically dogs that aren't trained, right? Either when you first come in or when you go to leave. How many times is it like, oh, how many guys have told you leave it over the years, right? I used to have a dog. He let you in, but he wouldn't let you out. Well, did you try walking backwards? If you walk backwards, he'll let you out, right? Because you'll fool him. But because those two things are primary. So what happens, though, in the case of a protection dog, if somebody's already in your house for a while? And maybe they even gave the dog a couple of biscuits. And they hung out with the dog. A lot of times if a, a violent outbreak happens right there, that's very confusing to the dog, right? So as part of the process of the dog's training, we'll train the dog not to respond to a person entering or leaving the room, but rather to an auditory signal, right? So you tell the dog what to do, just tell her to watch, don't even, just whisper, and don't even touch her or anything. Tell her to watch. Pass it out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 